Thank you so much to Danielle Edison and Kathy Lott for inspiring this video. So in this video, we are going to talk about how to create a daily check-in using Google Forms and conditional formatting to see which of your students are struggling. So I went into my Google Drive and I went new Google Form. I just called it, how are you? And I started with welcome, I'm glad you are here. And then my first question is asking, how are you feeling today? It's going to be multiple choice. So I'm going to go to uh, another option. So I'm just going to simply do two things. So I'm feeling great and I am really struggling today. Um, and you have the option of adding an image. So I'm going to uh, upload an image. And let's use the struggling one. And so there's my, I'm really struggling today. And just in case you're wondering, so I have the uh, Bitmoji uh, extension and it's I'm signed into it. And when I need something like, um, maybe I need, maybe the other option is gonna be, I need a minute. I can just right click, go save image as and breathe. Um, and maybe my next option is gonna be I will be okay, but need to take it slow today, maybe. You can do whatever you want here. Um, and again, I'm gonna now, I've saved that image of the breathing yoga pose, and that is what I'm going to open. And then in Google Forms, uh, just it makes more sense for the I'm okay to come next. And then I'm really struggling today. So I now have three choices here. I'm going to hit my responses. And there are no responses yet. But when you click on this Google Sheets, it will allow you to create a Google Sheet for the responses to automatically populate. Um, and before we do that, we're actually going to have to um, populate a few. Now, you would obviously collect their email addresses, find out their names, because you don't want this to be anonymous necessarily, because you want to be able to check in with your students. Um, so I'm going to just submit a couple of these, just so you see it. All right, so how, how are you feeling today? I'm going to go, I'm feeling great, and submit. I'm going to submit another response and I'm going to say I need to breathe and submit. And finally, I'm going to submit another response. I'm really struggling today. Submit. What you want to do next is you want to create conditional formatting in your spreadsheet. And that is where you get color coded responses. So I have my Google form, I have my multiple choice entries, and then I'm going to go to the responses. And you'll notice that in the responses, there is the opportunity to create a new spreadsheet. I've already done that. So you're going to go create a new spreadsheet. You will now want to create conditional formatting. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your format button up at the top. And you're going to go conditional format formatting. So you're going to go add another rule. You're going to apply it to your B range. B2, down to 60 perhaps, doesn't matter. And you're gonna go okay. Then you're going to go formats rules includes text is exactly, and you're gonna go back to I'm feeling great. You're gonna go control C to copy it and then control V. So if my text is exactly, I'm feeling great, it's going to be green and I hit done. And you'll notice it's already done that. Then I'm gonna go add another rule. I'm gonna go B. Apply to range. 
B1, again, go down, because that was the first question. So this is for any of the uh, questions where you want to see visually how the student is doing. So I'm going to go OK. Again, I'm going to go if text is exactly, and then I'm going to find I'm OK, but I need to take it slow. Control V, and this time I'm going to change the color to yellow and go done. And you'll notice that that is yellow. And finally, I'm really struggling today is going to be red. So I'm going to go add another rule. I'm going to apply it to B4. Again, I'm going to click to apply the range. I'm going to go all the way down. And I'm doing the exact same thing I did before. I'm going to go OK. Change it to if text is exactly. I'm going to choose the text. I'm really struggling today. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. And this time I'm going to change it to red. So it will show me visually that the student is struggling. So let's go back to our Google form for a second. Let's go back to the questions and just make sure that this is working. Sorry, so we're gonna go view. And again, make sure you put the student's name in. I didn't do that with this initial one, but I'm feeling great. Submit. And let's do another, I'm struggling. So now when I go back to my spreadsheet, there should be new responses. And you'll notice the two new responses are color coded. So my conditional formatting is working. And that is how you create conditional formatting in Google Sheets based on a Google Forms response.